This fight is scheduled for 10 two-minute rounds. Now first, fighting out of the blue corner, trained by Mujab Carmo out of Chan Boxing Gym, hailing all the way from Harana, India. She's wearing the red and white trunks, weighing in at 54.2 kgs with a professional record of 12 wins. Candy Chambo Mayra! And fighting out of the blue red corner, trained by Isaac Boaz and Zen Peach, out of Peach Boxing, wearing the black and red trunks, weighing in at 55.1 kgs, she has a perfect record of 17 and 0. She is the undisputed IBO champion of the world. Mira, the nightmare monster. Fighters to the center of the ring, please. Guys, I want you to buy my commands at all times and protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves now and good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. During a fight, if you cannot lean in front of the judge, that would be appreciated. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're about to get underway. If we could chop the excitement that was generated in the last bout, we will be in for a memorable night here in Faraday. Thank you to Mike King, who introduced both fighters as we get this one underway. 10 twos. And of course, Mia Muti is fighting in front of her hometown people. But this young fighter from India, she wants to make a statement also. She's got ambitions of going all the way. She wants to be a world champion. But Mia Muti will stand in her way. Look for the work downstairs early here from Mia. Up against the taller opponent with the longer reach. We well, see straight away he's got the punching power. It's definitely Mia Motu, the nightmare. We've seen that. You see Mira on the back foot. It's slapping a little bit with her punches, but she is very long. She's got some good hand speed. Mia Motu's going to be in her work cut out for her trying to track her down. Well, Mia Motu had a wonderful amateur career too before turning pro. Let's be reminded, too, that she dislocated her shoulder in the first round of her last fight. Continued to fight 10 rounds to get that winner. Shoulder has dislocated in the past in the amateurs, but you know, that's just another example of how focused she is. Just to stay patient. Oh, she's looking to get that looping right hand in. She knows that she's got some vicious body punching. And the Chandri. Mira is just evading the punching power. He will change me down three win streak as well. So she'll be uh, starting to really believe in herself. She needs to be a world champion fighter. Wouldn't that be a boost to women's boxing in such a populous nation as India? That was a nice right hand. She felt the punching power. Good grimace. Round one. Well, an unexpected approach there in the first round as well from the Indian fighter. Just trying to get the measure of her opponent. She's got a stack more experience. Yeah, we knew she was a good mover. Longer levers. Could punch very much an amateur-type style, the way she fights on their back foot. But as her right hand, she felt that then. You saw her take a lot. She knows now. She's felt some of the punching power of me and Nightmare Mortu. The young fellow in the corner is uh, Isaacs, or young Buck Sam. He's 
but a great supporter of Mia's. Oh, my dad would be proud of her son, Mia. He won the uh, Junior Māori Sports Men of the Year Award. He's a, a bowler. Congratulations to her mum's in the ring now. Doing what she does best. Just gonna sneak it, change level, get down to the body, just slow up a little bit. He does really want to get in there and throw it out. She needs to just put a light and shade, touch, touch, and find your way in before you get her feel the power. Stand back, stand back, stand back, stand back. Stop, stop, stop. Jumping now. Let go. And don't push off, okay? Stop. The referee doesn't want to hold him. She's got to find some way to counteract to me. She would have watched a lot of tape of Motu. Right, let it go, let it go. Let it go. Okay, two, one, fight, no holding, fight. Pop and run's not going to work for her. Mia, as you can see, is the aggressor, controlling centre ring. All right, now she's doing a fabulous job of it, Mira. But it's, you just can't keep it up for too long. That's the problem. She's intercepting every time she comes through. She's in front of her home fans at the moment. Mia Motu, there's a good body shot there from... The Indian fighter. A little bit impatient, Mia Motu. You can understand too with everything on the line and being in your hometown. Just very stiff right hand, just missing. Trying to force it. He's a wonderful boxer. She just needs to just go in and relax a bit. The international fight community are keeping their eye on this young fighter out of Pukipotu. Pukipotu, and uh, I know the connections here for Mia, uh, looking at perhaps names like um, Jenica Johnson. Let's go to the blue corner, get some thoughts. Chandni Mera. In the white and red trim for India. Mia Motu. Chandni came out with some beautiful changing levels. Wheeling out that nice left hand. Oh, it's a good left hook over the top. Stop, stop, stop. stop. Yeah. First warning for holding, but not holding. I know he's got a warning now. Only for holding here. For Mira. She's a, a little upset at some of the decisions and tactics here. But she really needs to concentrate on her own work. Simon, get her on the ropes. Now what is dictating terms to her? She the nightmare. A, she is a slick mover, Chandni. She does move very well. She's got a good kit of punches, although she's not a heavy hitter. She really does punch in between, just when you feel like you're going to come in. And she takes it away from you, intercepts your timing. Gotta go to that body mia. As she does. She must be hearing you. You are ringside. No one body puncher. Yeah, that's where she's at her best. But Menda, Menda comes down and then a big lift. Well, she's, got some, she's got some whiskers, I'll tell you what, that was a beautiful left talk. She come out and she's dancing, smiling, and you, you wonder if she's got the resolve in the the heart or the veracity behind it, and she's just shown it already, Dal. No Indian fighter, too. Not to like about her style in the ring craft on show here today. But can she go with the powerful punches that Motu is renowned for? We might get some thoughts out of the red corner this time with Isaac Peach the Peach connections, but first, some of the highlights here. Yeah, that's when she had her most joy. She got her on the back foot, got her on the ropes, but you see Mira, she came nice and tight. I think she is somewhat frustrating, Mia Motu. She is finding it hard to track her down and being able to tee off. Back, yeah? 
The young fella is her training partner and he works the bags with her a lot, the pads as well. She trusts him. Yeah, trust the young fella. He's always there with Mia. It's all about farmer Mia Motu. Evidence than those who've turned up to support her here tonight and far If you're watching this from offshore, this is nightly I'm on to 17 and 0. Looking for more opponents, but there's a game young fighter in her way from India, Shantni Mera. A wonderful job keeping at the end of her punches, Mera. Don't push down. Sorry, sorry. Really awkward. Frustrating. Miyamoto tries to come forward. Oh, some nice body shot for herself. We've got a little confidence here at the moment. Yeah. A couple of body shots off. The last minute of round number four. Not big blows, but what they are, they're landing and they're scoring, and they're just keeping it playing. They're frustrating me more too. These are the shots. They're straight away, Nero has been warned for holding. I'm gonna give you another warning. And another warning too coming in from referee. It's an endless. The jagger the scene that continues. Yeah, what you would have watched on is Manny Daniels put together a fine performance. He's had the audience here in Whangarei absolutely oh, on the edge of their seats as we see Motu come back in, up in the ante, up in the work rate, putting more pressure here on her Indian opponent. Oh, she's feeling that shot though. Body shots are relentless as the crowd get behind her. He's to go back down there. Lowering a run out there at the moment for Mera. She knows it too. Very solid round from the Nightmare Motu. Yeah, it affected it. It was noticeable on her facial expressions that she got hurt. A wonderful job and staying clear. These are the beautiful body shots of her sound. Mia Motu just missing the counter left hook, but these are the shots. That's the shot right there in the living area. You see her grimace. She tries to punch back, but then she's on her bike. Because she knows she needs to get those that bring that wind back into the sails. She goes there again, noticeably affected and hurt. That's where me needs to go. And of the sound of I see red going loud in the background as well. The crowd getting behind the red head and the black and red from Peach Boxing Gym in West Auckland. It's Mia Motu. Shanti Mera. Walking their tour two. <laughs> Round five. <laughs> this is where Motu would have been targeting as well. And they step in. A little bit more activity here, but not a lot of car in behind it at the moment for Shanti. No holding train, no holding train. Yeah, sorry straight away. She can see she. I just want to be in that area. She feels vulnerable. Oh, Grimace there again. Yes. The liver shot. Yep. You get these power body shots at the moment here from Mia Motsu. She's in a bit of trouble here at the moment, the Indian fighter. She's brave, though. I'll give her that. And Motsu's working downstairs. She puts her arms up to say, I'm OK. There's another shot downstairs. Well, you know, if you work the body, make fighters dip their heads at the moment. She's backing up, and Mia Motu is really drilling her with her body shots. She's a wonderful mover, Mira. She finds herself getting out of these awkward situations. But then again, Grimmers on the face. The punching has been brutal to the body. She feels that. I don't know how much more she can take. Changing she back, Lever to the head. Upstairs now, upstairs, downstairs. She's having a go too, but hey, she's got some courage here. Shanti. At 22 years of age, she's only been pro for a few years. She's taking some punishing blows downstairs at the moment.
as you say, Monty, I'm not quite sure how long she can continue to take this sort of barrage from Mia Motu. When you're in tip-top shape, uh, just give yourself a bit of a break. You can recover and come back. What's helping her is the way she moves. Really is a wonderful mover. Pivoting in and out of danger. Mia Motu can sense in their corner, as well as the crowd around the place. Uh, the Kapa Kurofu sense. The Defenonga is getting the job done. Again, hats off here to Shandi Mena for her bravery, but Miyamotsu is putting a shot through at will here, and the damage being done, the ribs, the liver shots, and then going upstairs. And yeah, the liver shot, it's delayed. It's delayed reaction that you get. I tell you what, it just feels like the insider eating, them, eating itself. Good job, Mia. Go, Isaac Pete says, good job, Mia, but don't get sloppy. He knows four rounds is a very long time to be on your bike and run Go away from the, uh, the big body punching Mia Motu. Round number six here. From Whangarei, you're watching Wahine Tour 2. What a night of boxing it has been. Lani Daniels in the bout before this one, and now Mia Motu. International judges around the outside of the ring here. As is necessary for title fights. Big ups to DNL events. Then Liam Lonigan, working in conjunction with all of their sponsors to bring the action here to the north. Closer to the home of Mia Motu and her father. Solid. The Indian fight has not given up. Oh, she's brilliant. She gets on her bike, she boxes, she uses that reach, the speed, she knows when to tie up and to hold. Not a big puncher at all in terms of other skills. Oh, that's a nice right hand from me, Mutu. And again out of the top. That's three straight right hands consecutively. 25 left, she needs to work. Yeah, they are telling blows too, and they'll be all registering on the judges' scorecards. That's some good scoring shots in that round. Last few seconds. We'll be careful to lose a point. Continuously warned for holding by the ref. Six gone there. And Mia Motu looking the good as we get action from round number six. Oh, this is uh, the barrage of right hands we've seen consecutively. Uh, that's the second. It was a looping right hand, more of a hook that time. The third one comes up here then. So there you go, she's all kinds of tough. Not only is the assault that she's taking to the body that she's withstanding and repelling, it's the knocks to the head as well. Please, please complete the round. I'm telling you, don't let Nobody did it in here. I'm telling you. Okay? Round number seven. Here we go with seven. Mike King with the microphone as well. He's got the crowd going up here in Whangarei. You have to keep the Fano. What did I talk about? Miyamoto. Has she got super human powers or is she a Miyamoto? Miyamoto. We'll soon find out. She's boxing out of a skin here at the moment. Her young Indian opponent is brave, but Motu starting to stalk her. Oh, she's resilient. He's tough. 
He hits the body. He can't be doing that. She wants 18 and 0. See 17 and 0 going into this one here. Round number seven of 10. Just continuously putting those punches straight in the face, obstructing her vision, keeping her at bay. She's one of few fight fans as well as self. Chandni Mira. Turn around, turn around. You get the feeling that Mia Mutu, 35, is battle hardened up against a young emerging talent. But she could still be very good. It's all about the narrative. She wants to be the first in from India. Yeah. To get it. Looks as though she might have just. I've got a little cut on her left cheek at the moment, too. Shandmi. Not sure if it was a clash of heads, but it's opened up just slightly. Nothing to be worried about right now. That's the end of round seven. That's the end of seven, so... Let's have another look. Crowd have been fantastic here tonight in Whangarei. Sold out signs. SRO at McKay Stadium. Standing room only. This is some work being done on the Indian fighters' cheek. Yeah, DNL events, wonderful show. Wahine Tour, two. A great night of fights, and this one is the last of the night. Those peach boys. I think there's a tattoo artist in West Auckland driving a limo. Let's go, let's go. Well, they've been really good in the relationship that, uh, that Isaac, Peach, and Mia Mutu have is really wonderful. They've known each other since their amateur fighting days. And after a break, we sort out Isaac. He says, well, if you're serious, come and work with us. We'll get you ready. We'll get you ready for world titles, and that's exactly what they've done. Yeah, unbeatable at the moment. Unstoppable. Her opponent has got few answers here. And she just continues coming forward. Like a tunneling machine at the moment, Miyamoto. Oh, she's just holding on now. Some good body shots, having a look. Stop, stop. The action replay. Don't hold, don't hold. feeling that's the last warning she'll get. Be a point deducted to. Yeah, Mr. Landis oh. is getting more heart. Miyamoto is as well. Look at the intent. Even the body language suggests, I'm coming to get you. It's just the mover. She's just a beautiful mover, Mira. She gets out of danger zone that time. She hit the body and the head. And I'm pleased you acknowledge that about her too. The young Indian fighter. Yeah. Mia Moto is like your worst nightmare. She's backing up. Mera. But Mera just keeps coming at you. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Coming to the back end of eight. Hard to see any of the judges finding in favour of the Indian fighter at this stage. But stranger things have happened. I was very surprised at the 95-95 uh, result that one of the judges yeah, had well, in the last bout. Normally they like the guys or the, the girls coming forward with the bigger punches, but I tell you what, with the sheer volume of punches that we're seeing from Chandi as well, we saw in the previous fight that depending on what you look at or what you're looking for, oh. really decide how you choose in the, in the way you put your votes for the rounds. 
She's a long way from home, but there are plenty of people calling New Zealand home now from the country of India. There'll be plenty of support in there as well. And she's doing as much as she can to get the sport of boxing more exposure in her homeland. Still very much with it, so no signs of fatigue. She's tough, but both of them are tough, aren't they? They sure are. Mia needs to go to work. Come on, Pudge. Yeah, you see, she's straight into a hole there. Butcher's trying to finish her off. That one took a shot. Right flash on where the uh, cheeks opened up. No holding, Jack. No holding. Taller Take fighters punch. doing well no. to. Stop. Keep your opponent stop, at bay. Stop, stop, stop. One point off for holding. There we go. One point Lost off the for point. holding. One point off for holding. Don't hold, okay? And Mia Morto goes point. straight back to work on the body. Morto. Morto. Still holding. Now Morto. Great respect to him. For Shandy Mena, big respect for her. Her attitude, her basic skills and ring craft are exceptional. Poetry in motion, Dale. Why does he just maneuver out? All the contortionists at times. Oh, that's a wonderful body shot. It's done well. But she has taken a huge amount of punishment. But he hasn't been able to finish her off as yet. The crowd lift here, hoping that. The Wahine Tour from Pukeputo can finish the job and as we will go the into round. the last round. Oh, it's been well, an intriguing battle. Contrasting styles and Medra holding on for dear life on occasion. She's taken a lot of punishment. She's moved off. She's retaliated with her own punches. She's been on that back foot. She comes in tight as well. Really interesting one to watch. Interesting to watch. It could be closer than we may be thinking as well. Yeah, I think it's a little bit closer than everyone's thinking in this room right now. But once again, is it the bigger punches and the aggressor going forward, or is it the, the cleaner styles and the punches that are first in terms of beating the opponent to the punch? Well, she thinks she's done enough to Shandy Mera. So this is going to be a really interesting decision if it finishes in the way the previous nine rounds have. Dr. Sam Aldieta is just having a look at the cut. I'm sure that that's okay to go on with for the last round. Well, you mean more to go straight to the body, get it a hold and lose a point. So all that Miyamoto has, she will put on the line here. She's already been penalised the point for holding, so the referee is getting very frustrated with the way that Mera. Is conducting herself in the ring. In the last round. It's a nice round. The lights have gone out, but certainly as far as the fighters are concerned, no lights have gone out yet. Mutu downstairs, he comes again. Oh, she felt that body shot. Look at her move. Round 10. Stalking, pounding, putting plenty of questions. To the Indian fighter. Oh, it's a big right hand. Motu. Mera. Let's go, Gary Nares. Who's going to get there? One minute's a long time to survive. 
Less than a minute. Motu coming at Mela. Referee, Mr. Landis, pulls him apart. 45 seconds left now. Both of show good ring skill, good ring craft. The 22 year old. But showing more than many thought. She would bring Mia Motu trying to finish her off. But Mera is resilient. Motu again lunging, throwing punches, wanting to finish it off. But Mera's tough. So is Motu. A flurry of activity. You know, wrap this one up. And there it is. Well, the two fighters come together, and now we are in the hands of the judges. I think both corners are quite confident in this one. And the fighters are giving you the impression that they're confident too. That's interesting. Jeez, it was a wonderful contest throughout. The big puncher and the wonderful mover who was on the back foot and punching well without power. A very accurate. It's an interesting one how this will be scored. Yes, indeed. Well, the international team of judges will have their work scrutinized right now. Will it be Miyamoto? Will it be Shangri? Meta. Both fought strong. Both took their A game into the ring here in Whangarei tonight. Losing a point is not going to help as well, Dale. So waiting, Mike King will be in with the uh, decision. He's just getting the message from the senior judge and will await the decision. Either way, both of these two fighters deserve tremendous respect for the way they have put together the main events and the co-main events here in Whangarei. Plenty of examples of courage on show throughout the evening, none more so than India's Shandani Mera. And of course, Miyamoto as well, perhaps a little bit anxious as they await the result. The young fellow's a bit worried, Dad's wrapping him up. Well, Mike King has our decision. Let's go into the ring. Fighters to center ring. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Carl Zappia scores the fight, 98-91. Steve Scott scores the fight, 100-89, and Adam Height scores the fight. 99 said 19. And still champion of the world! Mia Nightmare Motu! Well, an, an emphatic victory as it 